Now, in this technical demonstration, we're going to do something a little bit different. We have been applying privilege to Active Directory accounts and Centrified Directory user accounts to perform secure remote login and password checkout onto specific servers. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to enable a feature called Use My Account. Now, Use My Account gives us the ability to use our account, whether that be Active Directory or Centrified Directory user, to log in and authenticate to a system. Now, in order to do this, we're going to use the DevOps Unix server. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remote into the server. I'll do this for, right from the platform. And I'm going to enter an account. And I'm going to go ahead and just log in as root. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a series of commands. Now, what we're going to be looking for first is the current local profiles. Now, I've already pre-configured five different accounts on this particular system. So in order to see those accounts, I'm going to run a cut command, dash D. dash F1 of the Etsy password file. Now this is just basically going to give me usernames instead of the entire profile string for each user. And now as you can see, I have just usernames listed. And down here at the bottom, we have three particular users that I pre-configured on this one system. So as you can see here, I don't have any other privilege other than these local profiles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a master SSH key directly from the identity platform. Now, this can be found under the settings option. So let me move back over to the platform. We'll leave this open for now. We'll go back over to the settings under resources. Now, in a previous technical demonstration, we did make modifications and updated certain information here within the global account security and the global uh, system security. But what we do need is the Use My Account Master SSH key. Now, I can download it here and we can transfer it using secure file transfer or any other mechanism that you feel comfortable with within your Unix environment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this from a command line directly from the system. So instead of downloading it and transferring it, I'm going to go back to my remote session. And from here, I'm going to run a curl command. We, again, we are using CentOS, so I'm going to go ahead and use a curl command to copy that master SSH key over to my system. So this is a curl command. And I'm going to include my tenant URL slash server manage slash get master SSH key. And we're going to output it or save it to the Etsy SSH folder as a specific name, cps underscore ca dot pub. Now, as you can see, we've been able to transfer the file over. Now we just need to restart the SSHD service. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll run this from a system control option. And now that that's been restarted, I'll return back over to the platform so we can configure this system to use this feature. So we'll go ahead and just log out. And we'll come up to resources under systems and I'm going to open up the DevOps Unix server. Now from here, I'm going to go to settings and I'll scroll down. And as you can see right here, we do have an option that says use my account as configured on this system. So we'll go ahead and select the option and we'll click save. Now, remember, we don't have any privileges that we've given out to this particular system as of yet. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So in order to do this, we're going to go over to permissions. I'm going to add a specific team to have access to this system. 
So we're going to go ahead and select the IT team. We'll go ahead and click Add. We'll make sure they have view permissions. Now, in addition to the Use My Account feature, we are also going to give it agent auth or brokered authentication privileges. So we're going to go ahead and select that privilege as well. So I'll go ahead and select that and we'll click Save. So now let's go ahead and move over to Joe Miller, who is a member of our IT team. Now, Joe is one of our upper tier administrators, so he does have more access than our members of our finance team or sales team. We'll go over to systems and he can see the DevOps Unix server. Now, if he right clicks on it, he now has an option to use my account. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, he's logged in, but he's logged in as himself, as Jay Miller. If we type in, who am I? It identifies him as Jay Miller, not as help desk, not as a shared privileged account, as his own identity. Now, if we take a look at the Etsy password file once again, so I'm gonna rerun the cut command you will still notice that he is not listed with a local profile. This is because we're using brokered authentication and the use my account feature with a master SSH key to log him into the system. Now, if he wants to run elevated commands, for example, he wants to take a look at the shadow, he still has to enter in an administrative password or a pseudo password. But this will give him the ability to log into the system as his own identity to run specific applications and tasks. This also helps from an auditing perspective, as we've now identified specifically who has privilege to access this particular system.